the last Wednesday of summer. So had, and this is Hoop. Hoop is a repeat Hello. offender on Room and Who. But he's sitting in for our Who, who is fashionably late. And when yeah. you see this Who, you're going to see what I mean about fashionably. So yeah. you'll, you'll totally get it. I guess he has to be late. So Hoop, did you have a good summer? I had a great summer. Are you happy or sad this is the last Wednesday of summer? I'm sad in a way only because it's the last night for your show today, after, actually afternoon. But I what are you talking have, about? You'll have another show next week. Yeah, the first Wednesday of fall. I know, and then I'm happy for that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, on that <laughs> note, we'll just move on because today is National Cheeseburger Day, and you know what? I couldn't find any cheeseburgers, but I do have one cheesy-looking hot dog for the best skeleton of the day, and... It's also International Eat an Apple Day. So this is why I have all this apple oh, yes. stuff. Do you, green apples are my favorite. Which are your favorite? I love green apples. Good. Yes, we have green great. apple mm -hmm. treats for all of our guests today. When They also share skeletons in their wardrobe, as they say in London. Um, um, this is September 18th, and I have to say, I usually end with the angels, but there's a huge angel in the room with us today, and we are so lucky that it is the day that Jimi Hendrix went up to the big sky above. So we have Jimi Hendrix with us as an angel on this day, and we'll get to the other angels in a minute. But what else happened? It's also called Kiss the Sky Day, because Purple Jimi Hendrix, Haze. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Kiss the Sky. So, uh... Yes. He did drive an apparent drug abuse in London. He died of an apparent drug abuse? Come on. A drug abuse overdose, do they mean? Or they're not allowed to say that? And he was in that 27 club when he uh, passed away. That's right. So, you know, he's a big one. But what else happened on this day? On this day, Ted Turner gave $1 billion to the United Nations. Wow. I met him once. That's a lot of zero. I actually met him with Jane Fonda. Really? Yeah. And um, he was really nice. Really? She was not a happy girl. but um, <laughs> And I loved Jane Fonda. But, now, you know, look what happened to them. And they were together that night. So I guess I guess he, she knew Ted better than we know Ted. But a billion dollars to the UN, not bad. The Who opened in New York City at Madison Square Garden on this day. Wow. 1979. Wow. All four KISS members on this day in 1977 released solo albums. What a business Do you remember plan. that? Yes. Do you remember that? I don't remember that, but like, did they all wear their makeup on their albums, or did they not wear their makeup on no, their they, albums? No, they were trying to break away from that whole look. In 77? Yes, but... I thought after that. They said around... You know, they, these guys were businessmen. Well, Gene Simmons is a business. Nah, the, the drummer also, because he bought a he bought one of those hotels in Las Vegas. Ah, so Ted Turner and sure, them. Yeah. This is a yeah. business day, and that's why Hoop is here. He's my uh, business manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. No. Well, well, you do have guitars, not guns. Yes. Yes. So yes, that right. is something right. that we're both involved oh, with. Oh my gosh! As, yeah. a, as, yeah. as a as a business. Well, in a way, but now I, I, I realize that it's like this. What happened if somebody said you can have the thing that you desire to do? Oh, be careful what you wish for. And be careful what you wish for. And then it's like, okay, now you're going to be doing this. And you look, you look out the window and go, oh. Oh, no, okay. you don't mean that. Now but... I've got, it. no, but it's like now I've been waiting so long, a year and a half. Yeah. And now it's, it's happening. Now you're the president yeah. of Guitars Not Guns to and save I'm the world one kid at a time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's also the day that the U.S. Voyager 1 took, takes first space photographs of Earth and Moon together. So look what they saw out their window. Oh, wow. wow. The yeah. Reverend yeah. Sun Young Moon. Who remembers him? I do. He holds <laughs> God Bless America Convention. Mm -hmm. yeah. How is he... Uh, able to do God Bless America. He's the, I mean, that that's kind of like an oxymoron, if you ask me. Uh, Tiny Tim and Miss Vicky got engaged on this day. Now that is wonderful. And they were also married on the Johnny Carson show. I, and well, didn't they get married in Madison Square Garden? I, I don't know. They, I, they, they were married on Johnny Carson. I love Johnny Carson. Really? Saw it. Oh, yes. we got to Google that <laughs> yes, one. Yes. Oh, Tiny yes. Tim. Get Smart premiered on this day. Oh, who didn't love Get Smart? Mickey Mantle Day at Yankee Stadium. Mantle played his 2000th game. 
in 1965. Wow. wow. I don't even know what that means. Like, how many games has Jeter played? I don't know. Let's find out. If somebody emails me that or messages me, I'll send you a present. I, I just love the Yankees no matter what, even though they suck shit this year. <laughs> I know, I love him though. I was born in the Bronx, I can't help it. Don't hold the Greek back, King Constantine the Second marries Danish Princess Anne Marie. You know, a friend of mine in London today just said like a few years ago, everyone was dressing up in London like Amy Winehouse. And and there were like millions of Amy Winehouses running around. Now it's all princesses. Of course. It's like yeah, yeah. so I mean, come on people, do your own thing. Um what else happened? Booker T. Washington delivers Atlanta Compromise Address on this day. Did you ever hear of that? No, I haven't. Me either, but I know I heard of Booker T. Washington. Oh, gosh, I was confused. I thought it was Booker T. and the MGs. No. Harriet <laughs> Maxwell Converse is the first okay. white woman to become an Indian chief oh. in 1891. Wow. I don't get that one, but good for her. She was Con Maxwell Converse. It's like coffee and sneakers. I know. <laughs> New York Times starts publishing on this day at two cents a copy. Wow. Wow. In 1851. Thank God for the New York Times because they actually wrote something about Ruin Who. It's like the one paper that ever wrote about us. Yay. I don't read it, but I love it. Elizabeth Barrett and R. Browning exchanged last love letters before eloping. I don't know who they are, but they got listed on this list. It's like so sweet. Hmm. Were they writing to each other until they eloped? I don't get it. Why couldn't they? I guess they didn't have texting. It was 1846. The Royal Opera House in London opened on this day, speaking of London. President Washington lays the cornerstone of the Capitol building in 1793 on this day. I guess he was a mason. I love the well. He slept everywhere. I guess I guess he had just slept there. I yeah. love the Capitol. It's my favorite building in Washington. Do you have a favorite building? I, no, I, I, Capitol. It's such Capitol a cool building. building. Cool. Did, I, I have a skeleton yeah. from the Capitol. Maybe I'll oh. tell it later. Yeah, the first loan is made to pay salaries of the presidents and the Congress on this day. Seventeen eighty nine. Yeah. Wow. And then they were yeah, that. after that they were able to build the capital. You get it? My goodness. Christopher Columbus lands at Costa Rica on his fourth and last voyage on this day. God, any you know, to be Christopher Columbus, he had the life. Yes, but he was confused. Why? Because he thought this was India. He might have just said that. <laughs> you know I don't know if he really did. I don't know. And the farmer uprising happened on this day in Transylvania in 1437. I can only imagine what they were finding. Oh my in goodness. In Transylvania? Yes. Is that where all the zombies and the, the vampires That's came it. out? That's it. Birthdays today. Jada Pinkett Smith. Her birthday is today. That cute little woman. Lance Armstrong. Whether you love him or hate him, he's having a birthday, you know? Hey. No. I, you know, he just got caught, you hey. know? Oh, he just got caught. That that guy was, I don't know. Ricky Bell, uh, born in Boston, the rock vocalist of New Edition, and Bill Bid DeVoe. You can't, you can't forget those guys, right? Holly Robinson's birthday is today, 21 Jump Street. She's doing stuff all the time. Uh, who else? Oh, Don't You Want Me Baby, Joanne Catherell, Sheffield, England, rock vocalist from Human League. Her birthday is today. This world would not be the same without that song. That's right. I know. I always like um, second, like talk to that song when it's playing. My kids laugh at me. This one I had to say because without this girl, there would never have been Anne Hesch. Jensen Buchanan Munch was the first actress who played Vicky and Marley on Another World. Did anyone wow. ever watch Another World? I did. I did. I used to watch Do you remember the original yes. Vicky Marley? That's her. Oh, really? And Anne Hesch was the second one. Oh, okay. Yeah, Unless, I used to follow so far. Yeah. In the or it was the other way around. I don't remember. Oh, well, but that was, yeah. she was Vicky Marley. Wow. I know. James Gundolfini's birthday is today. We love you up there and happy birthday. And he's uh, in a movie that just came out. Well, yeah. he's partying up in the heavens, that's for sure. Lita Ford's birthday is today, rock and roll chick. Dee Dee Ramone's birthday is today. Did you know that? Did you know that it's Dee Dee's birthday today? Good. Because um, we got a Ramone 
thing going on today. Frankie Avalon's birthday is today. Robert Blake's yes. birthday is today. Beretta and the Little Rascals. He was in the Little Rascals. And then he turned into Beretta. This is, that is some, some career. Mm -hmm. I know. And then, oh man. And then wasn't he kind of up to shenanigans in real life too? Well, to, maybe. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Roman Polanski, no wonder they share a birthday. It's yeah. his birthday today too. And Agnes DeMille, God, what would we have done without him? He was the choreographer in Oklahoma. And Greta Garbo's oh. birthday is today. I, would, would she have Uncle Be Alone? Is that her? Be yeah, alone. exactly. And she actually gave Cary uh, Grant his break in the movies. What kind of break? He, if she said, I want this man in I this movie. I want him in my movie. Oh, lucky Cary Grant. First, first movie. And back to Angels, Angels in the Room, the woman, oh, everybody, you probably don't know her name. Her name is B. Marcus. Do you remember the lady, I've fallen and I cannot get up? Oh, yeah. Uh, she's an angel <laughs> with us today. Yes, yeah, she, she will not get up, but she will be here. Spiro Agnew passed away on this day, Angel. Vetus Gerolitis, this is so sad. He was a tennis star, and he died at 40 years old on oh this day. I wonder how he felt about uh, the U.S. Open this year. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, as we know, is our overdose of the day. Angel, angel, yes, yes. And Frank Morgan, the wizard from The Wizard of Oz, is an angel with us today. So I think everything's going to be in our favor. Who? Thanks for sitting in. Our who is fashionably late, as I, I said. And we're gonna we're gonna roll with the last Wednesday of 